One question I commonly get from both Axiom customers and potential Axiom customers is why we use metal dome tweeters. Uh, in particular, why we use titanium dome tweeters in our products. And this is across the entire product line. All of the Axiom products um, use a one inch titanium dome tweeter. And there may be some differences here and there in terms of you know, the faceplate design or the motor structure, but we use titanium domes everywhere. Now, um, there's a number of very good reasons for that, why we don't use, for instance, a soft dome. I tend to find that uh, titanium has a very, very controlled broke breakup mode. It's a known uh, quantity, and it happens at frequencies of outside of the audible band where we can easily deal with them and make a tweeter that's very linear and low in distortion in the area where you know we can actually hear the tweeter instead of worrying about ultrasonic frequencies. So that's one of the reasons. We can actually make a more linear uh, design with lower distortion. Now, another thing that you have to be worried about, and we are very, very concerned about and spend a lot of time and money dealing with, is consistency. Now, driver consistency is something that a lot of loudspeaker manufacturers won't even bother discussing with you. The problem with a soft dome tweeter is that the process of actually taking a fabric material, whether it's natural or synthetic, and as we call it doping it or impregnating it with a stiffening material, almost like a glue, that process is a very, very inexact science. It's very difficult to do with very, very high precision. And hence, you have to either sort your soft dome tweeters, uh, the domes, to make sure that they're all of exact mass and exact performance, or you deal with uh, either having to loosen your, uh, your decibel range of what imperfection you'll allow from a reference, um, or you have to reject and throw out a whole bunch of tweeters. We have found over the years that metal dome tweeters can be built far more consistent consistently, and they are far more consistent when it comes to actually measuring them and quality controlling them against our reference tweeters. And that's a big deal. We want every loudspeaker that leaves our factory to sound as close to the original reference or design intent as possible. There's no point in us sending speakers out that sound nothing like what we expect them to, right? So this is a very, very crucial thing. Again, I said, uh, like I said, many uh, companies won't even discuss it. Now, a final thing that's very, very important to us is power handling and limiting the amount of dynamic compression. When you hear the sound of something that has a lot of high frequency en uh, energy, like let's say a movie and there's a scene with a lot of breaking glass, there can be so much energy and complexity and frequency ranges there that you can go from a, you know, a level uh, of, of you know, fairly low level and those individual frequency peaks of that glass shattering can be, you know, 30, 40 decibels higher than, you know, the, the other frequencies around them. And that requires not only a lot of amplifier power, but you also have to worry that the tweeter is actually going to be able to track those peaks and not hit a brick wall, which is compression, where it won't play any louder. Now, one of the biggest ways that we can prevent compression uh, and uh, improved power handling is to make sure that we deal with heat because heat is the enemy. Uh, a voice coil on a tweeter has a certain resistance, which means that it will heat up. The more power you put into the tweeter, the hotter it will get. And that heat has to go somewhere. In a metal dome tweeter, the dome surface itself acts as a heat sink to wick away the heat from the voice coil. 
And in experiments, we can actually drive metal dome tweeters to far higher levels and have much lower compression than with soft domes. So those are really the reasons that Axiom uh, currently uses titanium dome tweeters through the whole uh, lineup. And uh, that's not to say it'll never change. I mean, one day a better material may come along. We, we're always investigating them and looking at different, uh, different materials. But for now, in terms of consistency, performance, and power handling, titanium is for us the way to go. So I hope that answers your question if you were wondering why does Axiom use titanium dome tweeters. Thanks for watching.